Hello friends. Here is a cheap and small SIM 800 LG SM module, with all the capabilities of a simple mobile phone. You can send and receive messages, and make calls using this module. Even you can connect to the internet, using the GPRS function of the module. It is a small, thin, and lightweight module, which can be integrated into a great number of projects easily. To work with SIM 800L, you need a 2G SIM card. It does not support 3G and 4G SIM cards. So make sure, you must have a micro 2G SIM card. I have a hybrid SIM card from Telenor, and it works on both 3G and 2G networks. So, I will use it in this project. Now, insert the SIM card in the module. There is a SIM socket on the back. While inserting the SIM card, make sure, this cutout must pointing upwards, like this. Now just push the SIM card. Click sound means, the SIM card is inserted successfully. Next, we will connect the antenna. You can use three types of antenna with SIM 800L. The first one is a helical GSM antenna that come along with the module. You can solder it directly to net pin of SIM 800L. This antenna is very useful for the projects that need to save space. But if you put your module inside a metal case, then this antenna will not perform well. The second one is PCB antenna. This antenna works well, even if the project is inside a metal case. You can connect this antenna to small UFL connector, that is located on the top left corner of the module. The performance of this antenna is much better than the helical antenna. The third one is IPX antenna. The performance of this antenna is better than the helical antenna and PCB antenna. Let's talk about its pin out. The first pin is net pin. Here, you can solder helical antenna that comes along with the module. Next, VCC pin. It supplies power to the module. It required voltages from 3.4 volts to 4.4 volts. So, the module will never run on 5 volts. It doesn't even run on 3.3 volts. So, you need an external power source, like LiPo battery or a DC to DC buck converter. Make sure, the power supply ground must be connected to Arduino ground. The third pin is reset pin. You can pull this pin low for 100 milliseconds to perform a hard reset. If you want to reset the module using the reset button of Arduino, then you must connect this pin to Arduino pin 4. The fourth pin is the RX pin. And the fifth one is TX pin. The both pins are used for serial communication. The sixth pin is the ground pin. The seventh pin is the ring pin. It is used for detecting calls or SMS. By default the ring pin is high. And when an SMS or call is received, then it gives low pulse for 120 milliseconds to indicate about the incoming call or SMS. This pin produces an interrupt signal, so you can use it with Arduino interrupt pin to make your project power saving. I have planned to implement power saving function in my future projects. Next. DTR pin is used to turn on or off the sleep mode. Pulling it high will put your module in sleep mode and it disabling serial communication. Pulling it low will deactivate the sleep mode. In the case, if SIM 800L is not working, it may be the reason that you are accidentally making this pin high. Next, pins 9 and 10 are used for microphone input. The two pins microphone can be connected directly to these pins. Next, pins 11 and 12 are used for speaker interface. The two pins speaker can be connected directly to these pins. Next, powering the SIM 800L. It requires voltages between 3.4 volts to 4.4 volts. The SIM 800L is a power hungry device. It requires 2 amperes of current for a couple of seconds, while performing burst operations, like, sending and receiving SMS, and making calls. The first power source for SIM 800L is a 3.7 volts LiPo battery, with at least 2000 mAh rating. 
Alternatively, you can use any 2 ampere rated DC to DC buck converter, like LM2596. The both power sources work fine with SIM 800L. For testing purpose, just connect the positive terminal of the battery to VCC pin of SIM 800L. And connect the negative terminal to the ground pin of the module. If the power to the SIM 800L is enough, then the onboard LED starts blinking. If it is blinking every second, this means it is searching for a cellular network. And when the device will connect to the network, then it starts blinking after every 3 seconds. It means, the device has made connection with the cellular network. And now you can send, and receive SMS, and make calls. If the LED blinked twice in a second, then it means, you have connected to the internet using GPRS data connection. There are some more LED patterns which indicates the module is not working properly. First, if the LED keeps blinking every second, this means the device is trying to make a connection to the network, but it failed to connect. If this is the case, then make sure, you have inserted the 2G SIM card in the module. Or try to replace the antenna connected to the module. Second, if it blinks 7 times and then restarts. It means, your module not getting enough current. Make sure it gets stable 4 volts, and 2 ampere of current. Keep power line length as short as possible. Third, if it blinks three times and then stops for 30 seconds. If this is the case, then check in the serial monitor to identify the issue. Or else check your serial connection. Next, here is the wiring diagram. The SIM 800L uses 3.3 volts level logic, and the pins are not 5 volts tolerant. This means the TX signal coming from the Arduino must be stepped down to 3.3 volts, so as not to damage the SIM 800L module. So, I have used a simple resistor divider. Next, here is the wiring diagram, if you are using buck converter. You can use any 2 ampere rated, DC to DC buck converter. Here I have already connected the components, as per wiring diagram. My GSM module is 5 volts tolerant, so I had not used the resistor divider in the circuit here. Now, let's move to the coding of the project. You can download the code from the description of the video. An SMS will be sent on the phone number you have entered here. Enter the same phone number for making call. Next, select the Arduino board and COM port from tools menu. Next. Hit upload button to upload the code. After uploading the code, open serial monitor. Here, first the module performs some basic configurations. Now, the project is ready for testing. To send an SMS, type S in the serial monitor. And then press enter. Soon, an SMS will be sent on the phone number you have entered in the code. Here, you can see the SMS is received on the phone. Next. To make a call using GSM module, send C from the serial monitor. And after a while, the module will make a call to the phone number you have entered in the sketch. Similarly, make a call to your GSM module from your phone. And the response of the incoming call will be displayed in the serial monitor. You can also send SMS to the SIM 800 LGSM module, using your mobile phone. You can see the incoming SMS in the serial monitor. Next, let's try some AT commands. The first command is AT plus cops, equals, question mark. This will only give the list of available network operators, in your area. With this you cannot assume that your SIM is actually registered, to one of these operators. To know that, you can try this command, AT plus COPS, then question mark. This will tell you with which network operator, your SIM is registered with. Here you can see the network operator. It might be a network operator name, or a code like this. This is all about the SIM 800L. If you have any question then comment below. See you in another video. Take care. Bye.